It's science time. Science! What does vitamin E exactly do? Vitamin E is mostly a hydrophobic vitamin. There are two groups of vitamin E. Vitamin E1, also known as tocopherol, and vitamin E2, also known as tocotrino. We all can think that vitamin E is the most complicated vitamin because it can have various benefits. When vitamin E acetate travels down the intestines, it encounters an enzyme called vitamin E convertase that breaks down vitamin E acetate into the active vitamin E and acetic acid. It then quickly rushes onto the surface of the intestine and reaches a protein called alpha TTP from the cell membrane. This is key to the absorption of vitamin E. From the cell membranes of the intestinal villoepithelial cells, alpha TTP binds vitamin E and phosphorylates it into vitamin E phosphate. Alpha TTP then gets released from the cell membrane and integrates vitamin E into the cell membranes of chylomicrons. In the process, chylomicrons can turn into VLDLs, or very low density lipoproteins. After the VLDLs get converted into LDLs by the liver, they diffuse into the body. Now, this gets to the point where vitamin E can help in cell signaling. And LDL binds its antigen to a receptor on the surface of the cell called LDLR, signaling the cell to engulf the LDL. Stuck inside the vacuole, the LDL enters the cell. Inside the cell, the lysosome fuses with the vacuole, releasing enzymes that force the LDL to release much of free chemicals, including cholesterol and vitamin E phosphate. Once vitamin E is secreted, it gets dephosphorylated. Now, vitamin E primarily functions as an antioxidant. Since it has a metastable hydroxyl bond, it readily delivers a proton to each oxylipid and rose molecule. Thus, it can reduce lipid peroxidation. Vitamin E may also inhibit the activity of scavenger receptors, like CD38, SRBI, and SRAI, preventing entry of oxidized LDL and HDL into the cell. It also inhibits enzymes like COX-2, 5-LOX, etc. This prevents accumulation of pro-inflammatory hormones. It can also inhibit PI3K-alpha or PI3K-gamma, a protein that usually activates a few nuclear proteins. However, it can also directly activate them and persuade them to bind to the starts of the chosen genes. From this, somatotropin, aka growth hormone, 12 locks, 15 locks, etc. are produced. The anti-inflammatory hormones, especially glutathione and taurine, are then produced. Glutathione and taurine are antioxidants. We'll talk more about them next time. This release of anti-inflammatory chemicals can reduce or prevent inflammation. In summary, Vitamin E is absorbed into the body through LDLs. Vitamin E is an antioxidant and an anti-inflammatory agent. Plus, vitamin E is also a neuroprotectant, since it is an anti-inflammatory agent.